Hello everybody, it's Core here, and today I'm going to be showing you a how to start in the Wild West. If you're new to this game, this uh, tutorial will show you how to start in this game. If, like, I mean, there's a lot of these different tutorials out here. It's true. So I'm just going to go over some of the basic things, like where to mine, or how to get money, and which guns to buy, as well as horses. So you're gonna start off with about with a thousand dollars. I have a little bit more, but you're gonna start off with a thousand dollars. I advise buying the mule first, not any of these other horses. Just buy the mule. Okay, I have more. You're gonna wanna buy the mule. You're gonna hit H. To, it'll open up the horse menu, and then you're gonna wanna hit call on the mule. And the mule is pretty slow, but it's pretty good for a starter horse with three staminas and okay-ish speed. And your first, you're gonna want to equip your pickaxe and gun. To do that, you want to hit B or click on one of these side buttons, and then click on them to equip them. Then, what you're going to want to do is go to the Copper Glutch Mine. It shouldn't be too far from Bronze City. You're going to want to go inside the Copper Glutch Mine. And you're going to want to go down this shaft here. Just fall down it. It shouldn't kill you. And then you're going to want to take your pickaxe out and mine all the way down here. All through this whole area. Now don't pull out your gun in this mine because you're protected. As you can see, or you have protection in this mine. So if somebody shoots you, you won't take any damage. Unless you take out your gun. So you're just going to want to mine all these resources. So the inventory is full. Just want to keep on mining all of these um, ores. So get these to coal, I guess. Now, if you buy the mule, you'll have $900 left. So you're going to want to just go to the mine, and you're going to want to grind so you have enough to get a good pickaxe. A, I'm, I'm going to say tier 5. You're going to want to grind so you, you have enough to get a tier 5 pickaxe. So pretty much you're going to want to go over there, come over here, mine this coal. And that one over there as well. And then you're going to go down, down that tunnel. And then there should be, uh, like, a, I'll just, there should be, a, like, an area down here where you can mine this copper. And I don't think you can mine iron at yet, which is what those ores are over there. I don't, I don't think you can mine those just yet. I'll have to see. Let me quickly mine this. There, there. Let me see. I don't. But once you get a better a tier five, or you you need to get a tier three, and then a tier five, so you can mine this iron. And then you're gonna want to go down into this area. It's gonna be a little darker for you, so that's why I advise you going to settings and turn off shadows. Because if you have them on, it'll look like this. But if you turn them off, everything will be nice and bright. So you'll be able to see. And then when you're in here, you're just going to want to mine every ore. There's a lot of ores down here, and you're just going to want to mine all. I'm not going to mine every single one, but... See, because I can't, because my inventory is full. But you're just going to want to mine, like, all the ores. Make sure you get the zinc. When you get your tier 3 pickaxe, the zinc is very valuable. So you're just going to want to mine all these, every ore, you, until your inventory is full. Then, when your inventory is full, you're going to go run out of this end here. You might have to get wet running the water. You're going to want to call your mule. Call your mule. And then you're going to ride into, into Brown City. And you, you will get some decent money. 
progress from this mine. A lot of people don't think it's so good because it's like the starter mine, but it really is pretty decent. You can get a, like, quite a bit of money from it. I'm obviously not going to get a lot because I have lots of other things in my inventory. But once you arrive here, you're going to want to go to the general store. It should be a green building. It'll say general store on the sign. You're going to want to go inside and sell your items, holding F to this guy. And you should get a little bit more money than that. But obviously you're going to, like, get lots more money. Yeah. And then, once you're done with that mining trip, you're going to want to buy the tier 3 pickaxe. Okay. So buy the tier 3 pickaxe. Then go to special. Buy this knife. The lasso. I already own it. And then once you do that, you will go back to the mine and mine it again. Until you have enough for the tier 5 pickaxe. So once you get the tier 5 pickaxe, you're going to want to go to the gun store. After, after you mine that place enough so you can get the tier 5 pickaxe, you're going to want to go to the gun store over here. should be this yellow, goldish building. This is guns and ammo near the clothing shop and the doctor's office. You're going to want to go into here, hit E to buy guns, and then you're probably, you're probably going to have enough money like, you may have to earn a little bit more money to get these guns, but I advise you getting the Lamant Revolver. The Peacekeeper, the starter gun, is actually pretty good, so I recommend you keep that for a little while. You get the Lamant, and then you get the Yellow Boy Rifle. And then the Sharps Rifle. If you get the Sharps Rifle and the Yellow Boy, it'll give you, it'll allow you to hunt animals more efficiently. So once you get these guns, you're going to be able to hunt a lot easier and play the, like, it's going to make this game much easier. And after that, you can obviously earn more money to buy a better horse, like the Mustang, or the, the you know, the, the, what's it called, the Quarter Horse, or just, like, get a better horse. Like, after that, after you get the Tier 3, then you get the Tier 5. From mining this place, and then you'll get the Lamat and Yellow Boy, and then you can actually start exploring this map. It's a very large map, and there's plenty of places to explore. And then, of course, after you do that, you're gonna you're gonna probably you're gonna want to go after you get enough money. Uh, how do I go about this? You, once you get those guns, you're gonna want to Reset, go to Callahan Manor, and then you're going to want to go over here. There's a horse stable, and they're here where you can, it's here where you can decide which horse you want to get. Now, I advise you getting the Mustang, which is $10,000. I know it seems like a lot of money, but it's really not that bad. The Mustang, because it's got really good speed and stamina. Those are the only things that matter. Health doesn't matter very much. Unless you're going for, like, Bronze City raiding, which you won't probably do for a long time. And then after you um, decide which horse you want to get, you're going to want to go follow the train tracks to Tribal Camp. You wanna, you're going to want to ride to Tribal Camp. Or just spawn at reservation camp and follow me. If you just follow me, from, if you spawn at reservation camp, you're going to want to go around, see where the sign is, you're going to want to go down here, ride down these stairs. Doesn't seem very safe, but it's okay. And then go across this little bridge and go to the tribal camp. Just follow along here. You can go and you can see it probably really quickly if I can see it from reservation. So once you get your tier 5 pickaxe, you're going to want to go here and mine all the loot, all the ores that are down in this cave. And then obviously once you mine all of these ores, you will go, you will ride, you will exit the cave, you will ride to Callahan Manor. Just, I'd reset. Don't reset there, because all your items will be dropped. You have to ride to Mac Hella 
Callahan Manor, which is the same way you spell on that. And then you're going to want to go to this guy and sell your loot. And then you'll do that over and over again until you can get your, your horse. And after that, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Get better guns. Explore. Bounty hunt, be an outlaw. It's pretty much, like, that's my basic tutorial for getting started in the wild ones. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!